Wow, Lockmat's really proud of this one. Greetings and welcome to Smartwatch Ticks. We're a YouTube channel on the web at smartwatchticks.com. You're looking at the packaging for the new Lockmat APP LLP Pro. Yep, it's the biggest watch on the market and basically the same hardware design as the Cospet Prime 2. However, there's a whole different and upgraded version of uh, the firmware inside this one that we're going to talk about today. First of all, we got to try to get it out of the box. Wow, look at that. Okay, the strap is only hooked on one side where the camera is, and it's loose on this one, so that uh, I guess you can connect it on your own. This is going to be a creative unboxing. We uh, literally have to get the band out of the box, and we did. But then it's got to come out of the slot. Whoa, okay. Uh, well, bear with me. You're going to have to go through this, too. I'm going to have to undo this part in order to get this part, it looks like, to fit through here so that we can quick connect this one right here. Show you how fast it is. You line up the pin here. You press it back. Slide it in, move it around till it connects, and there you go. Beautiful watch. We uh, have reviewed the Cospet uh, Prime 2 before, as you know. So this is going to be an overview more of the, hard, of the software and firmware uh, in this one. Notice that there is a plastic cover on the back as well as that pseudo watch face on the front. Get it started and roll it. Don't pick at the actual glass cover or plastic cover itself like Uncle just did right now. You don't want to do that. Just roll it off, okay? You'd be much better off. Uh, charging dock here. Look at that carbon fiber back. And you notice there's no SIM card slot place for water to get in here. Rated IP67, so it should be pretty darn good. I know, we're getting into the review, and first I got to tell you where you can get it. We've got a couple of wonderful sources for you. It's being uh, sold through TomTop, and I've got a listing here. I know the price is kind of high, but I'm going to have a coupon discount, I'm sure, for you. It's the uh, Lockmat APP LLP Pro. So check the show notes for the link from TomTop. There's also an AliExpress special Lockmat APP LLP store. Now, they use that because that's pretty much the branding for the high-end Android watches. There's also a Lockmat store because they also produce uh, other watches besides Android. But it's the APP LLP official store that you want to look for. They got a range in here depending on the band. Notice this has a metal one on here. I'm going to show you that. Um, so uh, you can choose which version you want. Again, in the show notes, and I will have coupons for you for this as well. Spec-wise now, going through them quickly, because like I said, we've already taken a look at the basic hardware on this one. Stuffed with 4 gigabytes of RAM and 64 gigabytes of storage. Plenty of what you're going to need in a watch. It really is. It's a 2.1 inch full touch screen. 480 by 480 seems like relatively low resolution when you're looking at some of the uh, AMOLED uh, watches out there. But it also means uh, that you'll be able to have some nice good sized fonts on it. It's clear. It's good enough to read. It's sharp. You know, but not crystal sharp like it would be with a higher resolution. It does have Bluetooth 5. That's a major feature for when you're tethering to your earbuds or whatever. You get nice long range uh, capability with that. You got the full um, range of networks available. Wi-Fi for both 5G and 2.4G. You're going to find some of the watches, new Android watches coming out, are only supporting 2.4. Not a big deal because all your modems have both. But uh, it's good that they're specking that now. You got GPS and uh, these other combinations of um, location services available. And um, the operating system's Android 10 on this one, which is the brand new way that we're working with these uh, Android watches. You've got a 6762 octa-core processor and even the ability to put it in performance mode. So 
It's like turbocharged, you know, if you're going to play games on this thing. 13.0, uh, well, actually, it's a 12.6, but rounded to 13 megapixel autofocus reversible camera. And that means it'll flip up and down, and you can uh, software reverse the image for whether you're taking a selfie or, or long re distance. A 1600 milliamp hour battery with a standby time of 40 hours which is decent and working time they claim of three days with about three hours to charge it all these languages supported here's some uh, other information ip67 water resistant don't dunk it underwater but just about anything else washing hands no hot water don't take a shower with it all of that okay once again tom top and lock mat are your sources for uh, this particular watch. Now, last little bit before we finish what's in the box. This is the camera module, and it's uh, delicate, so be careful. You see here underneath, I don't know if you can, that's where the wires go in, and we have had reports that if you get water up into this area, it could go into the watch. So, again, really careful on the water. It's not fully waterproof. Two buttons. The SIM card goes here instead of on the back. The microphone's there, and the speaker is hiding right here underneath the front strap. So guess what, folks? When you have it on, if it's on your left arm, and you're on a phone call or something, and it's noisy around, all you got to do is put this up to your ear, and the speaker's right there. Really perfect placement, not on the bottom where it could get possibly wet from sweat, but right there. You want to see it on? Well, I'll start it up, and then we're going to take a look at what else is in the box. Comes up with the lock mat uh, logo. We have a user's manual. This is the little thing that it was supposed to be wrapped around and hooked up with. Uh, so maybe yours will come completely hooked up, I guess. Mine, mine was dangling, and you saw what that did. We've got the charging cable here. There you go. Nice. I love their logo. Uh, this is the little tool to eject the SIM. Don't put it in the speaker hole, but you can eject the SIM right there, okay? And um, that was supposed to be, I think, in the other bag. Oh, there's another one. So I got two of them. They throw all this stuff together. And then this is the charging cable. And one word about this, if you're a watch collector, this has got reversed polarity. So don't mix this cable up with your other watches uh, because you're going to find that... Uh, the wiring is backwards, especially the power, and you don't want to zap either this watch or another watch if you plug it in. Okay, so we just booted up. We're going to accept English. However, I'll just show you quickly what all the other languages are in here. And they're uh, extensive. They're getting more and more translations, not just in a language, but as you can see, there's derivations for certain areas of these languages. In English and Portuguese and Spanish and so forth. And now we come over here and then we come over here. So these really are uh, full universal watches that they're doing now, these Android watches. English was selected, so I'm going to hit the check mark. You get here now so that you can download the, uh, the app that you're going to tether this thing to. And this is a new Guafit app that uh, we're not familiar with yet. It's a work in progress. You can kind of see that little icon there. You can download it from there or check the show notes. I'll, of course, have the link to the Play Store, Google Play Store, where you can download it. After you've downloaded it, you tether it by using the QR code unique to the watch. It'll say in the app, put it, you know, put the camera over it, and that'll link you up. And when you're done, you're paired. And then you can come back out of that into your uh, watch faces and stuff. You can do all that later, so you can skip through it just like you saw me do. Now, we're going to take a look at the manual. You like this better than I'm mixing up doing it and playing with the, all the stuff we got to get out of the way? I hope so. We're trying something different. Here's the, um, the manual. And there's the basic information again on uh, the app and how you get into it some of the layout information of what you're going to see and that's it wow okay then we're into chinese and a variety of other languages so quick manual and let's do this 
I've only got 43% right out of the box, so I highly recommend when you get yours, plug it in, charge it to 100% for a couple of reasons. It's good to start there, but it also helps to calibrate the uh, reading for the battery of your percentage. You want to drain it down, then charge it back up. When it gets down to about 10 or 20%, charge it up to 80 to 100%. Cycle it is what they call, and that'll help make sure that you're getting a more smooth and accurate uh, battery reading. You see, i got to touch it quickly because it's set for like 15 seconds seconds timeout which keeps me talking fast here's your brightness there's full bright and dim is really really dim great for nighttime and also for longer battery life i keep it on about a one to do the reviews gps is activated when you get it out of the box but all the others aren't this is to silent uh the watch go into quiet mode this is your twist your wrist to see the time that activates bluetooth for when you tether it either to your headphones or to the tethering app and of course this sets up wi-fi and that if you have a sim card in it will give you cellular data any of these you can get into like this by pressing hard and it'll show you all of your network stuff in your area and this is where you would tie into your um, uh, network oh and if I just grab one and I come in here I can show you this is what the keyboard layout looks like and it's pretty responsive and accurate the tricky thing I get is that period in there. It's going to try to get in. Of course, that wasn't a real password. But once you're connected to the Internet, you're good to go. Could not connect. Yeah. Okay. So that was from here. And then one more, you have this cleanup thing, which doesn't really work. It's being eliminated, I think, from future versions of most of the firmware. But it looks cute, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah, something to show off to your friends. When you swipe to the left, you're going to get your notifications there, here. And when you swipe up, you're getting into your step count information, uh, distance traveled, and summary over the past several days. We haven't set time or date on this. Then you got a music player here, and you can actually adjust the volume on the music player, which is really great. This is the music in the watch. Remember, you got 64 gigs of storage. And you can play it either through the speaker or tether to your headphones. So that's sweet. One more. Once you're on the Internet and you've got your location and everything is hunky-dory. You like that word? It, yeah, you, I'm, I'm dating myself. Uh, this will update with the weather in your area. And it'll show your temperature in both Fahrenheit and centigrade. Wow, we're pushing through this one. Here's the app drawer. And here is a, a fitness section. This is where you activate your fitness. But you want to set this app up actually from here now let me tell you something a little bit different okay down the road i'm going to do a comparison video between the prime 2 and the app llp pro but not today today is the shining light on this beautiful watch when we get into it though you're going to find that the apps are all different lockmat decided to say well what are people likely going to do with their watch and they put those toward the top so phone contacts and messages are going to be what you're typically going to be using camera yep that's another big one and play store they figure is important and then you'll do the okay google Ooh, i said it sorry no no don't answer that's okay go back to sleep Ooh, I like to say okay, but not the other word. Uh, I get a lot of trouble triggering people's stuff. Um, and then so forth. You got this whole new play movies and TV thing from Google. That's an app in here. You got Google Chrome, uh, basic calendar clock. And then settings is way down there, okay? Used to be like about the third or fourth, and we always go into settings like initially, which I'm going to do here shortly. Watch face, store, desktop, settings, maps. There's your Gmail, heart rate monitoring, face unlock, fitness. Here you go. When you get into fitness, I'm just going to take the moment now. You notice the icons are different now. They're like little cartoons instead of the colorful ones with people on them. Swipe once. Here's where your history will be. Swipe again and make sure you turn that on. Use positioning. That will tie into the GPS so that the app for fitness will use the GPS, even if you come over here and activate your workout from that section. But you got to set it up in the fitness app. Weather, um, gallery. Gallery is way down here, but camera is way up there. They used to be close together, but they figure you're not going to get into the gallery till you... Anyway, the music player. Here's a sound recorder, your file manager, and so forth. You've got a calculator in this one. Simple. 
uh, App Store and Assistant Optimization. Real important, guys, if you're going to install your own third-party apps, and I'm sure you will, you're going to find the ones that need to run in the background will stop as soon as the screen goes black. This is how you prevent that. One of the biggest questions we get. Go into Clean Task. It's jumping too fast for me. Go into Clean Task. You get this page. Make sure that's turned on. Should be. Tap again, and any third-party apps you have put in here will be listed here, and they're activated. Deactivate them. Turn them off. That will allow them to run in the background and not close down on you. There. Saved you the price of admission and your valuable time for watching this review up to this point because you're going to need to know that. The other thing, screen lock, third-party stuff. Here's that system work mode where you can go performance, but leave it in normal unless you really need that. Longer battery life, cooler watch, happier you. Um, so just leave it on normal. App freeze, ah, we don't really use that. I don't know a whole lot about it. It'll help save power and unblock things, and it shows some of them that you could do it to. But I'm not familiar with it. I've never really used it. But you did see something there, and I want to call that to your attention, too. In just a moment, you saw a lot of the Google stuff. First of all, here's App Store. Uh, I've got to be on the network, but that lets you download Facebook and WhatsApp. But that's about it. And Assistant, this is where you're tying to your phone for tethering to the app. You can now turn it off so it's not constantly polling Bluetooth and trying to connect and, and reach out and burning up your battery. So really, really good that that feature is now in here to deactivate it. If you do activate it, then you get your QR code uh, to, to tether to your phone. Once you're tethered, you have all these different things that you can do. Okay, But if you're not going to do that, leave it off. Even if you are doing that, leave it off if you don't need it, like at night and whatnot. Okay, I mentioned about the Google thing. I want to come all the way back here to phone and show you that you don't just get the phone with the SIM card anymore. It's activating the Google phone thing for voice over Internet. And learn all about how you can set up a Google uh, phone thing and... Um, and, and do it because now you've got it on the watch. So if you're in Wi-Fi, you can be doing your phone calling from here. You can have all of your contacts brought over from your Google account and here. With all the other information you put with them, like birth dates or whatever, you've got uh, messages, which is not just SMS texting, but it's the whole Google message thing. Also really new, really cool. And we're seeing the migration in this firmware to other watches that will be coming out. So it's a wave of the future to give you guys, in a quasi sense, what you wanted, broader access to the phone without having to put the SIM card in. Um, again, you can be connected Wi-Fi. And another great way to do this is if you're out and about and don't want to put in a SIM, put your phone in Wi-Fi hotspot. And then come into Wi-Fi here and connect to your phone. And just keep your phone in your car, in your pocket, wherever you backpack, you know. Um, and, and you get all that capability of using the Google connectivity over Wi-Fi because you'll be tethered to your phone by Wi-Fi and your phone is tethered to the Internet by cellular instead of your phone watch being done, uh, connected by cellular. Longer battery life, lower power drain, and better connectivity. But yeah, you got to have your phone with you. But most of the time you do. If you want that convenience of on-your-arm connectivity, this is how you get it. Heart rate monitor is basic on this stuff. you got the flashing diodes that will happen here. I wasn't fast enough. There you saw it. There you go. Looking for my arm, all that kind of stuff. Uh, and everything else is similar, if not identical, to what you've seen uh, already. So Face Unlock is on this one. Google Maps is on this one. Uh, by the way, when you're in an app like this and it's in the square, you guys remember that you can press and hold here and change to circle and square, except for most of the Google apps. They have been restricted to being in square only. So to get the circle ones, your third-party apps and things like that will, will do that. But notice, if you go in circle, you're going to lose access to the corners. And what does Google love to do? Put everything that you need to get to in the corners, which is why you're seeing that that's been deactivated for G Gmail and um, the mapping and all, all the other different kind of things.
Now, as for settings, they're pretty much the same as what you've seen on all the other Android 10 watches, and we covered them extensively. But I do want to call your attention to a couple of things if you're new. Come down in here to sound. Scroll all the way down to the bottom, and you'll notice that you have dial pad and power on sounds. When you touch that button, i turn these off, okay? Uh, when you touch this button up here to silent your mode, quiet mode, off or on, it will not affect the dial tone sounds and the startup and shutdown sounds. So I've always turned mine off after I've enjoyed it to begin with. Uh, that way um, it's not going to annoy you if you're turning it on or off at an awkward time. So that's something in settings. And then overall your network is the same. Your connected devices on this one is just Bluetooth. And when you put the cable connected to your computer, it will automatically launch into thumb drive mode. In the past, you had to have USB and uh, set it for file transfer. In the newer firmwares, you will need to do that. So just remember, look in the uh, connected devices area for a USB connection if you're going to be doing file transfers like your app side loaded or your custom watch faces. But on this one, plug and play it just goes straight in everything else pretty much the same storage location your google stuff and then about the watch you tap into here check your wireless updates right there and when you go down to the bottom you'll check your build number and you notice i'm on version 1.0 of uh may 18th 2021 and um, Check your firmware to see if it's the same or newer to see if there may be some differences uh, in your watch. Okay, uh, we've covered that, we've covered that, we've covered all of this stuff, but we haven't taken a look at the watch faces which are unique to Lockmat, which are really, really cool. This one is uh, really sweet. You've got this animation going on in the middle, but when you touch it, guess what? it actually launches the camera and there I am and everything is upside down so I touch that and I can flip it over I touch this and I touch what do I touch that one oh I'm thinking how do I change cameras well on this watch you change cameras by tilting it up oh see it's upside down now I can reverse it now it's flipped this way so any writing that you see like user's man oh no user's man is going to be the right way oh i thought it was going to be backwards oh this is cool so this takes pictures selfies the correct way that if there's any signs in the background they're going to look right instead of being uh, left-handed or flipped around so you get that you do it this way and then when you flip it down that way it's upright for uh the proper view there these other things are just adjustments if you can see them that uh you can make for um, your background brightness or color saturation all of those things not going to go through a lot of testing of the camera right now we already did that it's the same exact camera on the prime 2 and i want to get through this review this is going to launch your fitness stuff um, when you tap it it's an active screen first time unlocks it second time unlocks the screen because it it locks up and the second time activates it. If it looks like it's sluggish, it's not. It's because it's locked and then boom, boom, and I can unlock it. And that takes you to your phone, which is the Google app. So you can make and do all your calling and checking and everything. It's really good. Great, great watch face there. Camera, that, that, that. You got four different active things. Then you got a few other watch faces. This is the fun little one that they put in, branded lock mat. It's going to give you your power level as well and you've got this great animated face too uh it's not touch sensitive that it follows you or anything like that but it is an active wallpaper in the background some simple watch faces are in here as well and i won't walk through all of them but i'll just show you kind of from the thumbnail the full portfolio of what you've got uh, there and there here's one this one is a static one, okay, not actually animated. Same with that one, that's static. This one too, they're just pretty designs with the time on them. That one as well. It looks like they did have an active animated background and then they took some screenshots of it and that's it. Now, 
When you get here, you hit the plus sign. If you're on the internet, you'll get the directory of the watch faces, uh, like all the Android watches, and you could download any that you want. Um, remember, if you're going to sideload any watch faces, custom design ones, you, or even after you do this, it's a good idea to hit that little curved arrow. It kind of resequences the whole watch face directory and will take you back um, and put uh, put everything in the right order so you don't get a glitch or your watch to hang or any of that kind of stuff. And that's the watch faces. So, a couple of more things to show you. This is the metal band. And this is what it looks like on. And what the heck is Mr. Tix doing with two of these? And why didn't he give me one for free? I keep asking him. Uh, sorry, guys. I got to hold on to it because we got some special things coming up regarding firmware flashing to these watches that I need a second one to be able to compare to uh, the, the original. This, wa this watch band is one of the two options that you'd have from the uh, Lockmat uh, store. Uh, that's the difference in the price and that's what you see here and that's what you can select. So the stock band pretty much looks like this and the upgrade band looks like this and I also have an option for you if you want to get uh, it, their removable bands any kind of a custom watch band uh, one of our sponsors called Strapsco has got some great ones when you look at the review of the Prime 2 you'll see one that I've got that's got three holes on the side with red accent on it that comes from Strapsco so I'll have the link to Strapsco for you as well and you can take a look at it one last thing that the guys at Lockmat sent out to share with you is this, and I haven't even looked at it yet, but it looks like it's a tempered glass watch screen protector that you peel off, and it is set for a D55 7 millimeter. Let's take a look. I got wipes. I've got glue sticker that you're going to use there's a dust absorber so there's a whole process you make it really really clean take off the dust get these guide sticker things going and inside here is the actual glass screen protector that will fit on this watch yeah i'll have a link in the show notes for this product uh, so that if you want to add it to your, your shopping cart, you can. Now, it has a little screen protector on here, a little plastic kind, I think. Maybe maybe glass, I'm not sure. But this is an extra one. This is a thick one, and if you're investing almost a couple of hundred dollars in your watch, you really might want to take extra care um, to protect it. And there are products that you can get that are custom designed at the right diameter to fit this watch. That's it, gang. Last thing. Again, you can pick it up through the AliExpress uh, outlet from the Lockmat APP LLP official store, or you can jump over to TomTop and pick it up from them as well. Both of these guys are great sponsors. They're helping us out here by giving us these samples that we can show you that allows this kind of a review to go on and future ones where we can do some comparisons and where we can actually show you the differences between upgraded international firmware that's coming out for this one uh, and the actual company firmware that's in the watch. Do stay tuned. Do subscribe if you like because we are... We're going to have a lot of fun the rest of 2021. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again soon.